Thanks for watching. Today I show you how to install an NVMe SSD drive into an external enclosure. This is the Ugreen NVMe SSD enclosure and it's 10 gigabits speed, USB 3.2. So it's really fast enough. I don't think there is another faster option for the USB for now, as far as I know. I mean, the usual, the fastest port I have in the computer is USB 3.2. For for me, that's the the maximum. Maybe Thunderbolt will be would be faster, but I'm not sure. NVMe also it's uh, much faster inside the computer in the M.2 slot. Depending on the version, this is the version PCI PCI Gen 3 or 4. It's a Samsung 970 Evo Plus and I removed the label from it so usually you have the label on the NVMe drive. The reason I removed the label is so I am able to use the thermal pad but I believe you could use the thermal pad even if you don't remove the label. If you have a new NVMe drive without a heatsink you shouldn't remove the label or at least check that make sure it doesn't void your warranty. And if you're buying an NVMe drive, I believe it's better to buy it with the heatsink, so it's uh, it's uh, doing getting staying cool longer. Because without the heatsink, they usually get really hot really fast. They have good thermal control, so it will slow down if it gets hot. But you want it to be fast as much as possible. This is the model number of the NVMe external enclosure, U Green. It has a little light there. There is one light on the drive. Very small. Yeah, same driver. I had problems in the computer with this NVMe SSD drive, and I'm trying to see if I will have the same issues outside of the computer. And it's interesting, the Samsung Magician doesn't recognize the NVMe drive anymore when it's in the case. So that's a good thing for me because this SSD drive, it has really some serious uh, freezing problems. It was going to 100% and then getting stuck. So I'm hoping that this is going to go away and I can use this SSD drive as a caching drive. I wouldn't use it for a main drive, but it's good to be able to use it for something other than uh, throw it in the bin. So I did a few tests actually and I will show you in a future video how it turned out that it's actually working. So the speed is 1 gigabits per second uh, maximum, which is the limit for this enclosure. Normally the limit for, the, um, for this SSD is about 2.5 gigabits per second and 1.5 right i think it's right 1.5 and 2.5 read but i don't really need that much speed i want it to be working not working sometimes so now it's not recognized in the in the samsung magician software and i will do more tests to see if it's actually working well now i'm actually using it and there is no problem with it as far as i, I can tell it's actually working these are the speed tests and you see there's one gigabits per second read and 952 megabytes, one, one, 1,900. So they are now, it's not ideal how it's set up, but it's actually working. And this uh, NVMe SSD drive actually is making me use this SSD again. Otherwise I would have thrown it because I don't know what to do with it. There is a problem with the software, with the firmware drivers, I'm not sure. I tried to put the Samsung driver, it wasn't working. It kept using the Microsoft driver. I kept reading that you have to replace the Microsoft driver to use the Samsung driver, but that wasn't working, so I don't know what to do with it. After using the case, there is this piece left over, which is an extra holding bracket. I will save it for later. In case I lose that plastic one, I get another one. Thanks for watching. I repeated the tests a few times and the speed is 10 gigabits per second. When you plug in the enclosure, you have also USB type A and type C, but the port you plug it into, it has to be USB 3.2, 10 gigabits per second, so it can get the full speed. Thanks for watching.